Hello, Tracy Sethers Parker here, owner of Wordplay PR and Marketing in Grapevine, Texas, and revenue strategist for six and seven figure business owners who want to scale. In this week's episode of Marketing Mojo, I'm talking about momentum. I heard a phrase recently that sparked my interest. Momentum generates momentum. And while I understood the general concept of the phrase, I wanted to dig a little deeper to see how I could relate it to marketing. So I went to my handy dandy dictionary on my computer and looked it up and found some crazy mumbo jumbo about mass and velocity and vector quantity. I was like, what the heck does marketing have to do with physics? Well, it turns out quite a lot in this context, but I kept reading and found some less scientific definitions. According to Merriam-Webster, momentum also means strength or force gained by motion or by a series of events. The Cambridge Dictionary defines momentum as the force that keeps an object moving or event making progress after it has started. Now it was all starting to make sense. Just like a boulder rolling downhill or a political candidate gaining popularity or an actor's career that just suddenly takes off. It takes tremendous effort and determination, sometimes behind the scenes, to get something of magnitude started. But once you do, there is usually no stopping it. And the same can be said for successful marketing. I've seen so many business owners struggle because they are not sure which marketing tools they should use for their business. Oh, or they are so overwhelmed with other tasks that they don't have time to focus on marketing or they don't even know where to start so they don't do anything. Your marketing will never take off if you don't first get it moving. You must make that first big initial push in order to eventually gain speed and strength. And in marketing terms, that means results and revenue. So I've got four ways for you to generate momentum in your marketing. Number one, make a plan. Every successful marketing program starts with a plan that outlines the who, what, when, why, where, and how. This can be done on an annual or a quarterly basis. Getting it out of your head and onto paper will make it easier to implement. Number two, set deadlines. If you're like me and you work best under pressure, then assigning yourself and your team members deadlines will make sure that the ball gets rolling and keeps rolling. Offer incentives to keep everyone accountable and motivated along the way. Number three, start small. How do you eat an elephant? One bite at a time. Break down a big project or a big goal for the year into quarterly or maybe even monthly chunks, action items, and by being able to check these smaller tasks off your list, this will create momentum and help you get towards the end result. And number four is be consistent. You will never gain momentum if you start and stop and start and stop. The whole point is to create a series of actions that achieve bigger results faster. Momentum for me in 2023 means launching my new revenue growth marketing package and CMO program. So of course I have broken those big goals down into action items. And the first one is update my website, which I am working on now. Launch date TBA. So now it's your turn. What is your first step to generate momentum in your marketing in 2023?